what's up my beautiful people welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome kindly hit that red subscribe button below for the returning subscribers we love you so much thank you for always coming back if you are always a returning subscribers you mean so much to us you know thank you so much for always coming back so guys you've already read the title of this video and it's a reaction video yay it's been a while since i did a reaction video is it like one week hey i miss these things hey it's been a while since i did a reaction video you've already read the title of this video so you know who is on our bucket list today you know who is on our tea today but let me get the lighting clearly i think that is okay so who is on our tea today our tea today is so so spicy guys you don't want to miss this tea hey, it's so spicy so ensure you watch this video till the end who is on our tea today we shall be talking about the mango marwa so those people are always coming on the comment section saying oh why are you always talking about about this people of course it is their drama always push them to be on our bucket list dimongo marwa featuring mayugno these two people featuring mayugno we shall dive in into our ghanian in-law wademaya and miss trudy so ensure you watch this video till the end and just consider give it it giving it a thumbs up you can give it a thumbs up right now or decide to watch first then give it a thumbs up so let's get into the video let's start with our very own girl our beautiful girl our charming girl our dimwango you know let's start with her dimwango went ahead on her life dimwango went ahead on her life i was part of that life i was watching i was observing very carefully Dimongo went ahead on her life telling people that the challenges she is experiencing the most challenges that she has never experienced while traveling and even she gave the video the title i need your help that was the title of this video let me fix this thing first I think i'm okay now yeah she gave the video the title i need your help you know i need your help then on the th on the thumbnail it is her picture looking very desperate because you know i told you that dimango have a phd in creating titles and uh, and the just thumbnails of youtube videos now the essence of, of just that title it is to create more views or it is to create more viewers to come and watch the, the video. What is this that is causing Dimwango to need our help? What is this that is happening? That's, that's the questions that people or subscribers will be asking themselves. Then be eager to click the video and start watching the live that was the essence of her titles and her thumbnails of course and dimwango i told you i was in that live but my essence was to go on the comment section you know on the comment section is where you can know everything it's where the tea is it is cooked you know on the comment section it's where you can get all types of tea you know all types on the comment section subscribers many fans were waiting were writing clickbait 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 that is what fans were writing dimongo you're using clickbait dimongo stop using clickbait that was what people were commenting there on the comment section you know and of course subscribers notice because the title of the video it, 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 it was not aligning with what she was talking about she was talking about the challenges that she is experiencing back in Indonesia but of what what is the essence of subscribers help how can the subscribers help Dimwango? Of course, she wrote the title, I need your help. And on the video, on that video, she was talking about the challenges that she is experiencing. Now, how can your subscribers help you? You said that you need your help. 
you need their help how can they help you with your challenges that you are experiencing back in indonesia how because I, i'll be taking a look some uh, with some of the things that she said that she is really really struggling uh, she's really really struggling with that back in indonesia and this is not this is not the first time that Diomongo have traveled Diomongo have traveled several countries in the world this is not the first thing that she is traveling of course these challenges this are and this is not the first challenge that she is experienced i know the challenge maybe that she experienced in philippines is the same challenge that she will experience in indonesia because it is just one continent it is it, because it is just one continent it is just asia the way a person the way a white or maybe a european or maybe a european or american come to kenya the challenge that he or she will experience in kenya is the same challenge that he or she will experience back in tanzania or uganda or ghana or nigeria or south africa because in in a continent like africa we share most of the culture tends to align with each other and back to indonesia where dimongo is saying that she is experiencing the most difficult time of of her life and she has never experienced this that this is the first time that she is experiencing this while in Indonesia that it is not the country that she expected it to be that people are smoking cigarettes here and there here and there here and there here and there and smoking cigarette it is just a normal norm but there is a saying that says when you go to Rome do what Romans do don't go to don't go to a place you see them smoking cigarettes uh, you in your country people don't don't just smoke cigarettes anyhow in your country people don't just smoke cigarettes now now you are seeing this country that you've traveled to it's a bad country uh, they have bad culture they don't have morals but you have to respect each and everyone's culture every country have their own culture so when you go to an when you go to any country be prepared be prepared psychologically you know but that even that this country this country there is some things that maybe i have not used to it then i just i will just have to bear with it Mongo, you've traveled several countries i don't know why you're seeing this thing as a you are seeing this thing as a big issue or oh, indonesia when you go to just any place they are smoking cigarettes uh, that's i know passive smokers you the one who you are not smoking them who they are active smokers and you you are passive smoker because you are receiving that smoke it is going to affect you just be careful search for a mask wear a mask yeah wear a mask find a solution because you can't just run away from 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 one place to another because all oh, this pop these people are smoking cigarettes in our country we don't smoke cigarettes or oh, in our country there is just a place that people go to smoke cigarettes you don't just smoke cigarettes anyhow out oh, i'm going through a hell here you know how would you want your subscribers to help you or guys help us understand of the comment section help us understand down here on the comment section just drop your feedback down here on or your opinions what should the mongols do because she's saying that oh uh, in indonesia smoking cigarettes it's just a normal norm people out of 10 people nine they are smoking cigarettes women children men they are smoking cigarettes and she is not used to it what's your opinions guys drop your comments down below in the comment section and let us know what you think positive negative comments are allowed down here please feel free to drop your opinions down here on the comment section the other, ch the other challenge that she said that she is experiencing back in indonesia she said that is food of course it will be food what is that one thing that what is that one challenge that a person will experience when he or she travels to a new country of course it must be food it must 
big food even marwa your brother was showing us how he is eating this food that is cooked for for three months babies back in back 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 in argentina but was showing us he has gone to a hotel then he is given this thing a, a soft soft a slippery slippery like food that here in kenya we see it like a, a three months child is supposed to eat that or a six month a six months child is supposed to eat that but not a grown-up so you're not the only one who is struggling with food day mango you are an african traveler you have to be prepared psychologically you know what this country that i'm going to of course they don't have skumawiki they don't have ugali they don't have this they don't have this they don't have this so you have to be prepared or oh, hey, they cook they cook rice without oil and salt even you are in philippines you were in philippines you and jb were cooking this rice without oil and salt i don't know why you're still complaining while in, in indonesia oh i'm i'm really really struggling i need your help how do you want your subscribers to help you or oh, guys let me understand help me help me to understand these things how did dimongo want subscribers to help her telling telling them the problems or the, uh, the cigarette pro the cigarette problem and the food problem that she is really really struggling with the food back in indonesia or that uh nowadays i can't eat junk food junk food they have side effect i can't eat i can't just go to kfc and get some french, some french fries and chicken i got i can't just go and eat pizza no that's not my bucket that's not on my bucket list in terms of food that is what dimango said so she said oh i just eat fruits and sleep i just drink water and sleep you will you yourself you want to die of hunger demongo you yourself want to die of hunger how can you just drink water and go to sleep and the time we'll be going home congrats mom will be seen oh, will be congrats mom will be seeing the daughter she has grown thinner and thinner and thinner you are an african traveler you are used to these things and you should be prepared you should be be prepared and ready to eat other countries food even even if you're not used to that food you should just be prepared psychologically that is the thing that it will help you ready to eat indonesian food ready to commit yourself to this culture in indonesia all oh, people are calling you because they're saying you're black you're a new person how smart you are you know when this person is calling you or not or he or she is saying the right price that's the smartness that you have but what do you guys think kindly drop your feedbacks down here on the comment section let us know what you think let us give ding mango an advice she might see this video read your comments and she might be helped somewhere you know so just feel free feel free to drop your comments down below in the comment section and also this is the problem that Dimwango always have. Dimwango, there is a fan who asked Dimwango on that live chat. Dimwango, since now you are successful, since now you are, you are a celebrity, since now you are famous. Why can't you, when you go back to Nyabuhanze village, just provide them? provide them with water this question even if i i don't know if it is the same fan that is asking this question this question even it was asked to marwa marwa answered very very nicely marwa answered yes you know when i will go back when i will finish my village my when i i will finish my when i will finish constructing my villa water project in nyabuhanze village is my second option that is what i am marwa answered but dimwango kai dimwango dimwango answered this one you yourself why can't you you yourself this person even we don't know if it he or she is kenyan dimwango told the fan why can't you yourself go back, go to Nyabuhanze village and provide them with water? Look at that kind of answer that Dimango gave this fan. Surely, 
surely and i was so heartbroken with what dimongo said oh i can even block you you know i don't want this kind of spirit conversation in my life in my life chat so dimongo wants want just to be assisted like donate 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 to my youtube channel donate 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 but she herself she does not want to comment to her village to nyabuhanze villagers to help nyabuhanze village at least to be somewhere or what do you guys think what do you guys think you can just share your opinions down here in the comment section and let us know what you think was dimango did dimango give this dude the right answer telling him i don't know if he is a he or she telling him even you don't know if he's kenyan or telling him to go to nyabuhanze village and provide them with water and this dude just asked the question in a simple way telling him oh go yourself to nyabuhanze village and provide them with water hi but guys share opinions down here in the comment section and let us know what you think let's uh, let's live on demongo let's go to i am marwa the big bro let's go i am marwa is now becoming a celebrity in argentina hey the power of traveling the power of traveling i am always now becoming a celebrity in argentina eh, the power of traveling and i am always taking this bus tour i didn't know i am already not traveled eh, you just you just come in nairobi you travel a few places eh, you don't you don't go deeper deeper in nairobi to see the things that are happening here and there i don't know why you are so shocked while in argentina seeing this bus that is turned into a business center you are so shocked this thing even happens even happens here in nairobi, in, in nairobi kenya buses are turned into a business center you can see maybe it it can be a barber shop just you you are seeing that it is a bus but in real when you enter inside it is really really a business center it can be a salon a hotel barber shop you know i don't know why you are so shocked when you see this argentina bus that is being run as a business center or like a radio station i don't know why you're so shocked i think when you should when you come to nairobi you should visit you should at least visit every places in nairobi so that anytime you travel you can't be shocked am i lying guys am i lying if you are a nairobian there is these buses that are turned into a business center it can be a barber shop it can be a salon it can be a hotel it can be any business center is it true drop your comments down below in the comment section and let us know what you think because i am rose was acting like oh he has never seen this kind of things a, a bus that has fridge inside has cooker inside have all things inside he was so shocked like he has never seen this but this thing is normal is a normal thing here in Kenya and I've also learned that I am a have honest I have honest subscribers or fans the fans of Marwa hey you are honest hey you are you are very what's the word to use honest honest you are ready to tell him what he is doing wrong and what is he what he is doing correct and that is what we reactors always do we come and react here we agree on something or we disagree on something so i am marwa on that video i've already told you i've already told you that the tea the tea always happen where on the comment section on the comment section that is where the tea always happens so i am marwa did did this video of touring i don't know argentina buses you know so on the comment section there is this fan that he wrote this i'll be reading it i'll be reading it guys there is this fan there is this fan that he wrote he's a kenyan he called himself kenyan crew kenyan crew i don't know if you're watching this kenyan crew commented 
Hey Marwa, the street videos are getting monotonous. <laughs> Look at how this uh, Ayamaru's fans, they are honest to him. Let me start. Hey Marwa, the street videos are getting monotonous. Is it true? Is it false? Drop a comment down below. Now, show us places of interest. Get a local point. Get a local to point you in the right direction. Please don't do another video in the streets. Look at what this comment. Look at that, what this person commented. Hey Mara, the street videos are getting monotonous. Please, this is what he wrote. Now show us places of interest. Get a local to point you in the right direction. Please don't do another video on this in the street because you are seeing that I am when she, when he is doing this video he gets lost. He returns uh, to the place that he has already shown us, and even maybe it is a live. The, it is a live video. The things that he is showing us it is just a repetitive video. People have already seen that. That is what this fan is trying to say or is is trying to mean. And I went on the replay uh, on that on those people on the and the people who replied to this Kenyan cream like at level replay. Let me bring, let him bring more street videos to starve reactors. Let him bring more street videos to starve reactors content. What's your name, Lovell? Lovell. I pity you. I pity you very very much, Lovell. I pity you. Who said that when Mara doesn't bring content, we will starve. We will not have anything to talk about. Even this repetitive street videos, it is a big content. It is a big title. It is a big video. Marwa, a lack of content. Just roaming here a roaming here uh, here and there wandering wandering here and there uh, bringing to the fans or subscribers the videos that are only talking about street 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 nothing else street streets and these videos they are one hour videos 15 minutes and above videos and the videos they look the same on the videos that he was doing back in Washington DC back in Nyabuhanze village his videos they are just I don't know how to put it. When you when you look at his videos, they are not. He is just doing the videos for the sake of vlogging, for the sake of not missing a vlog. Because his videos they are just repetitive, street, 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 street. When he was in Washington D.C., they were in street hotel, street hotel, showing us how White House, showing us this repetitive, repetitive. Nyambo is showing us the villa construction, villa construction, villa construction, villa construction, villa construction, villa construction, villa construction every single day. So, and he puts them as different videos. So the main, the main, the main point of Ayamarwa is just to not miss to vlog, not to miss to update his followers, not to miss the money not to miss the views that he must supposed to get on those videos on those videos that he is doing regardless that they are not even different kind of videos or what do you guys think drop your comments down below in the comment section and let us know what you think because this is not uh, this this is not me who have said this this is a fan who have wrote this that marwa you should come out of street videos you should come out of your comfort zone uh, stop just producing videos on street videos, street videos, street videos. Find uh, as this guy have, uh, have uh, is it encouraging you or giving you an idea? You can just find a local guy, sh uh, tell him to show you some tourist destination places, go there, show us, you know, because Argentina is a big country, you can't just be staying on the city only then you are saying that oh you are a traveler you are a content creator and the only places that you are showing showing us is the streets that you are living
it doesn't make sense but i draw i want you guys to share our, fin our opinions down here and let us know what you think positive negative are welcome because even demongo the sister had said oh i don't trust people here i can't even find a local guy to show me places here in indonesia i want to travel to the village you know and people here they're struggling with english uh, that's my bigger problem i want a local guy uh, i want a local guy who can show me places like uh, tour me to the village i love village life you know hey dimbango but since i can't find a local guy i am just going to do these things on myself Hi. will you manage dimbango will you manage will you manage no man is an island you have to depend on other people so that you may move on that's the saying that we always tell you or what do you guys think I know it is really a struggling it's, it, it is really a struggle because as a traveler it is really really a struggle we understand the things that you are going through but bravo on the work that you are doing you too you are doing an amazing job you know you are doing an amazing job so when you watch our videos our videos don't feel that we are your haters no we don't uh, i can't hate you. i can't hate anyone here on the social media you know you are doing a great job continue what you're doing continue with your spirit you know because these are some of the challenges that of course as travelers you have to experience but continue with your spirit and who knows it will take you places that even you didn't know you will be. Let's move on to what am I and Miss T. Moving on swiftly, let's go to what am I? Hey, Ghanaians, Ghanaians, Ghanaians. Have you seen how your brother is being praised by the father-in-law? Hey, hey. I I know that Wodemaya is now feeling a gentleman and Mr. Lee's dad have been praising Wodemaya since he entered Kenya. You know, I love you to be my son-in-law. You know, uh, I'm the most luckiest man to have you as my son-in-law. You know, hey Wodemaya, you're so hardworking. Uh, my daughter is so lucky to have you as uh, her husband. You know, you know, hey, hey, hey. Uh, look at that feeling look at that feeling and i know what maya is so so happy now that mr D's dad is really really praising him he is really really praising him that he is very very happy to have him as the son-in-law and he is the most hardworking person that he has ever not look at what look at that caption look at that caption look at that love between the father-in-law and the son-in-law look at that caption and i loved how miss trudy's dad i loved how miss trudy's dad really shows his love to Wodemeyer, to the son-in-law and when you look at the relationship in real sense they love each other they love each other miss trudy's dad love Wodemeyer very much and that's nice of you uh, miss trudy's dad because the way you're showing Wodemeyer's love hey hey not every african parent can show the son-in-law the love that you're showing Wodemeyer. hey out of 10 you'll find just two african men showing love for the sons in law or what you guys think drop your comments down below the comment section because there's this love that Odemaya, this love that miss trudy's dad is showing Odemaya. hey it is just on another level it is just on another level and auntie maggie auntie maggie is now in kenya auntie maggie that is Odemaya's mom is now in kenya and uh, that's an thing of Odemaya taking the initiative booking a flight for the mom just to come and visit uh, the daughter-in-law back in kenya and even to visit miss trudy's dad back in kenya and that's a good initiative for you or the maya just taking that that chance that chance because i know your mom is her age you know uh, with traveling uh, they say traveling is good when you are a bit younger but as you grow older you tend to see you tend to see traveling as a test 
as a tiresome thing you know people tend to be tired because of course your age matters in terms of traveling age matters but but when the mayors took that initiative to travel the mom all the way from ghana back to kenya just just to meet the miss trudy's dad and miss trudy miss trudy earlier had told us that the time that Wodemeyer's mom or Auntie Magu will be coming into Kenya is when they will have finished the construction of their mansion home back in Yala in their village. But it has happened earlier. Wodemeyer decided, you know what? Time is flying. Time is flying. Time is not waiting for anyone. No. Time is not waiting for anyone. No. So he decided to fly the mom just to see Miss Trudy's dad. Boom, if you haven't f seen that video, if you haven't seen that video, kindly, kindly, boom, go to Miss Trudy's channel and watch the video. You will just love it. And even Odemaya's video, Odemaya's channel, kindly go to their channels and watch the video. You will love them. There is some things that we captured on that video that we shall be talking about it. Like Odemaya's mom, of course, Odemaya's mom, we know that he, th that she is aged. If she is not like late fifties, she is at early sixties, early sixties. And you know, of course, this age people they are not that stronger. Their bones they have become weak. They have become weaker. And what the mother's, I look at that video, and what the mother's mom was like, you know what? I can't use I can't use an excalator oh I'm scared I can't use an excalator oh I'm scared I'm just going to use the stairs even if it is take it will take time it will take ages to reach the place that I want to go I rather use stairs than escalators but I understand of course this thing if you're not used to it if you're not used to it, of course, you will find it very, very difficult. And also, I understand Odemaya's Odemaya's mom age. Let me use the this name, Auntie Maggie. You'll be understanding who is Auntie Maggie. That is Odemaya's mom. Auntie Maggie was very, very happy to see Kenya, to see how to see how beautiful Kenya is praising kenya you know what even Ghanaian, you should you should come and visit kenya see what kenya is doing kenya is beautiful but what the mayor was like huh? hmm? do you think that kenya is beautiful uh, is more beautiful that than ghana ghana is more beautiful than kenya oh auntie maggie ghana is more beautiful than kenya that Odema is saying Ghana is more beautiful than Kenya and Timagi. And Timagi is saying Kenya is more beautiful than Ghana. <laughs> but we are not here about we are not here about competition. Yeah, this is the things that of course when a person visits a new country, there is some things that he or she will see that you yourself that you're living in that country you have never seen this you have never seen it and auntie maggie was appreciating how kenya is how beautiful it is and of course there are some culture shocks that always aligns with people traveling different parts of the world and of course the thing that shocked her the most was uh, was that the driver seat or the cars the driver seat is located on your right and in Ghana, it's located on your left. On your left, these are some of the culture shocks that Miss Trudy and and Wodemaya have been talking about. But this is uh, this this is not a shock because different different countries, different they have different ways of doing their things. But this is the thing that shocked shocked Auntie Maggie and Ghanaians. You should come just and pick Auntie Maggie because she is suffering. She is suffering. Why is she suffering? She is suffering of cold you know it is cold here in Nairobi it is really look at how um huh? look it is really really cold freezing you know so and we understand that than Ghana it is very very hot and when you go, you come from a hot place then go to a cold place hey, you will really really freeze at least when you when you come from a cold cold place then you go to a hot place that will be better but not vice versa and auntie maggie is 
she is very, she is really really struggling with this cold weather but i understand of course she had to do this she had to come to kenya and visit the dad and see kenya visit and study in kenya and that was a good that was a nice thing and this cold issue it is just a minor minor thing because she is used she will be used to it and of course miss rudy have taken the initiative of going and purchase the warm the warm like the warm scarves a uh, warm sweaters warm jumpers warm warm clothes you know socks for her mother in look at what these people have look at this relationship look at the relationship of miss trudy and the mother-in-law look at the relationship of Wodemeyer and the father-in-law they're just on top and these people they have just good relationship and they just align with each other very very well if you love this relationship that's that this two that's that these couples have with their parents just drop your comments down below on the comment section and let us know and let us know what you think and let us know what you think but netizens netizens here they are pleased by miss trudy what have miss trudy done again that have pissed netizens what have miss trudy done what have miss trudy done again that have pissed netizens you know when your mom as an african when your mom in law comes to visit you you know you will tend to be active performing the house chores sweeping a uh, washing clothes cooking doing this doing that you will tend to be a uh, so that she can see you you are very very busy yeah you know that is that's the tendency that always happens here in africa when your mother-in-law visits you you tend to be, to be busy you are doing every house chores so that she can see you as the best she can see you as the best wife to her son that's the thing that people always do guys am i lying am i lying you can just drop your comments down below and so miss trudy miss trudy was preparing breakfast for this the mother-in-law remembered of course uh, the way we do in in kenya is not the way Ghanaians cook eggs so she decided to let wodemayam to come and cook eggs for the breakfast Oi. but wodemaya of course they mix eggs together that is called scrambled eggs but miss trudy we also do that in kenya i don't know why you don't how i don't know how you don't know how to do it to do scrambled eggs what do i took the initiative to cook breakfast for the family for the, for the wife for him so then auntie maggie enters auntie maggie enters she says that oh my god is it my son who is cooking for the wife Oh my god why is it that auntie maggie enters the kitchen and she she says it's the son who is cooking for them of course she can't let it she can't talk and say oh why is it that you are the one who are cooking it is your wife is supposed to cook guys we know african customs we know african traditional of course you are starting to follow the western culture but african culture it is still there it will still remain because the culture it will just never end like that it will just never end like that of course auntie maggie saw that hey why is it that wodemaya is the one cooking and not miss trudy cooking but miss trudy wodemaya must have taught or teach miss trudy how to cook these scrambled eggs why is she the one who is why is wodemaya who is cooking what the man could have took the camera and show us how Miss Trudy is cooking for them breakfast. But what do you guys think? But what do you guys think? Drop your comments down below in the comment section. Please be positive. But also we may we all come we welcome all negative and positive. But we are here to agree and disagree. This is a reaction video. Do not feel offended. Do not feel offended. It is just a reaction video, just for entertainment purposes. So do not feel offended. You know, you know, you know. And also the Maya took took this thing of booking his own Airbnb. I don't know why this is, I think it also aligns with the African custom took the initiative to book his own BNB so that the mom can sleep there and him and Miss Trudy's Airbnb it is free it is there free her herself 
because the dad the brothers they have their own home the dad have his own home and he's huge and bnb when decided not to bring the mom on miss Trudy's and airbnb why is it because of the african customs it is it because of Ghanaian traditionals is it because of kenyan traditionals help us and understand, help us understand down here in the comment section because in african culture i think it it is it it just aligned with african culture because your mom in law and you and your daughter-in-law i don't know i don't know they are not supposed to sleep in the same house i don't know i really really don't know but when the mayor came the previous the previous video that the mayor did suppressing miss trudy he came but he slept in miss trudy's airbnb so i don't know i don't see the reason why miss I don't see the reason why Wodemaya's mom cannot sleep on Miss Trudy's and Airbnb because it is totally free. It is Miss Trudy herself. I don't know why, but you can you can be knowing the reason. You can help us understand down here in the comment section, guys. It was all about that. I don't want to make this to be long. I don't want to make it as long. No, 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 no. Let's just come to the end of this video. And you know what to do, guys. You know what to do. If you like this video, just don't forget to give it a thumbs up, please, please, please. Just give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, kindly hit that red subscribe button below. Kindly, kindly, please kindly hit that red subscribe button below for the returning subscribers we love you so much thank you for always coming back it was all about that dimongo guys i forgot about my yugno i i said that dimongo and i am will we shall be featuring my yugno i i wanted to bring this issue of my yugno my yugno being of course my yugno have been taught by ayamara and dimwango my yugno my yugno have been taught this thing of clickbaits and the the previous video that he has done or oh, visiting my mom after 12 years who does that who does that who can't visit the mom 12 years on that period where was he it is just a title to attract viewers to click the video that's what we call clickbait nothing truth about the video that you are seeing who, who can wait 12 years so that he or she can visit the mom or that is just clickbait to add to attract viewers to click the videos is it true that the, that mayugno have lived is 12 years without seeing the mom without visiting the mom that is what i wanted to feature i am Marwa. i am Marwa de Mongo featuring my yugno telling him or educating him on the tight words thumbnails that can attract viewers to click the videos but what do you guys think drop your comments down below on the comment section let us know what you think see you in our next video peace bye